Flux 1.1 Pro. Faster, better, stronger. Is it? Well, I don't know. Let's go check it out. See what's new. Get Flux. Oh, zoom in a little bit here. Will we announcing Flux Pro and the BFL API? So BFL that's Black Forest Labs, right? So October 2nd, one and a half, two days ago. Today we release Flux 1.1 Pro. So the Pro version is not the one that you we can access locally. So that is the dev and the Chanel. Our most advanced and efficient model yet alongside the general availability of the beta BFL API. This release marks a significant step forward in our mission to empower creators, developers, and enterprises with scalable state-of-the-art generative technology. Flux 1.1 Pro, faster and better. Flux 1.1 Pro provides six times faster generations than dot 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 than what that it oh yeah right. we gotta press that uh, let's see uh, then its predecessor flux one pro six times faster i mean that's pretty insane while also improving image quality prompt adherence and diversity at the same time we updated flux one pro to generate the same output as before but two times faster so that's pretty cool um still that is improvements for pro as it seems as of yet nothing for dev or Schnell, which most of us are using uh, the pro is available through api solution so if you're a paid subscriber of well many of the online solutions today you can access flux pro here are some of the images this one's pretty cool actually because now let me zoom in more here for you oh there we go does that work i don't know what how, how they prompted this uh, and it's actually a collage so i can't check that but this image is photorealistic the cat in a cartoon or painted style and so is this little uh, chat bubble here where uh, he or she thinks of the three blueberries here so there's a mixing and matching of styles so i think that's pretty cool i haven't seen that and i haven't tested that either on the previous models um, but if that works, uh, I mean, that's cool. And here's a, a, a PowerPoint presentation kind of style. Flux has new skills, good text, prompt comprehension, amazing images, generate cute dogs incredibly fast. All right, dog in hat, cat in hat, whatever works, right? Let's keep on going here. So we talked a little bit, they said superior speed and efficiency. So six times faster for Flux 1 and, one, and two times faster for the Pro 1. I do wonder, they updated the Flux 1 Pro. How did they do that? I mean, they, let's, well, it probably delve into that later here, right? Uh, yada, yada, yada provides an ideal trade-off between image quality and inference speed. Okay, so did they decrease image quality to get that inference speed six times as fast? Flux 1.1 Pro is three times faster than currently available Flux 1 Pro. So what, okay, so it was six times faster than the older Flux 1 Pro. Is that what you're saying? and three times faster than the new Flux 1. I am improved performance, tested under a code name Blueberry, a popular benchmark for text image models. It surpasses all other models on the leaderboard, achieving the highest overall ELO score. Okay, so what we got here? Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, so you got Flux 1, 1 Pro, we got Flux 1 Pro. Ideogram, Ideogram, is anyone using Ideogram? Let me know in the comments if you are. Midjourney, a lot of people are using Midjourney. First mover advantage and all that. Well, not, can we say first mover advantage? At least easy to use first mover advantage. I mean, they released about the same time as Stable Fusion, but Stable Fusion was not easy to use in the beginning, if you, uh, well, if you remember. And then we have, um, we have SD3 medium here. I will. Oh, there's Flux Dev. So we have Flux Dev here in the middle. So I'm fairly happy with Flux Dev currently. Uh, and it, according to this ELO score, it's surpassing Mid Journey. And if you're looking at the Flux Pro, we're actually seeing an improvement of quality on the Flux 1.1 Pro compared to the Flux 1 Pro. So even with the increased speed, we're getting quality improvements as well it's interesting though that sd3 medium is down here i mean yes it fails completely with like human anatomy and stuff but you can get some good images out of it still like close-up portraits environment stuff like that so yeah surprised to see this slow but also it looks a little skewed right uh, because from here 
950 ish up to a thousand that's just like 50 points so all of these values are very close to each other uh, so it's not as a huge jump as you might think so the improvements from flux one dev to the new flux one one pro is 50 points and down from flux one dev to sd3 is what uh, 150 points and from dolly to sd3 medium is 50 points as well so yeah i mean there's a difference for sure it makes it look like there's a much bigger difference but i mean i love flux flux is amazing or at least i think so today maybe tomorrow that changes when the, something new is released uh okay cost sounds okay so, okay so this is with inference speed and how much it requires. So you wanna be as high up on this as possible while simultaneously being on the left side, right? So Flux Dev, for example, you're getting a fairly high score by being fairly cheap. Flux 1.1 Pro, obviously better, but also moving towards the right side as it costs more to run. And some of these like mid-journey, ideogram, we're seeing huge costs over here while being on the same level as flux one dev which you can run very very cheap and then if you go to the super cheap ones flux one schnell you're still getting well pretty pretty good results here right but it's cheap but i think dev this is probably where most people or at least my viewers you guys and gals well at least six percent of you gonna be around here right okay let's see let's see what, what else we got speed seconds so again we want to be high up and on the left side and surprisingly flux one one pro actually outperforms flux one dev when it comes to speed so that is um this is very interesting indeed and here's the new flux one pro and here's the older flux one pro so the older flux one pro was uh, was very slow in comparison to all of them and uh Surprising to see that the Flux 1.1 Pro is this fast while achieving these scores, right? Uh, if you want to deep down into the metrics, there is more info, a couple of links here. All metrics from artificial analysis.ai as of October 1st, 2024, except Flux 1 inference speeds benchmark internally. Mm, okay. Fast high res coming soon. Flux 1.1 Pro natively set up for fast ultra high resolution generating coming soon to the API. Generate up to 2K images without sacrificing any of the prompt. 2K, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, they got it on some of the, where you can get it, where you can use it now. Some info on the API, if you wanna work with that. And we have some pricing here. So the API on the dev, 2.5 cents per image. Pro, the older Pro, 5 cents per image. And the newer Pro, 4 cents per image. So. Flux 1.1 Pro achieving, like, well, it's like we said here, right? Uh, no, speed, sense here. So Flux 1.1 Pro is cheaper and more effective than the Flux 1 Pro. If you are to trust this data and, you know, we've got to take them at their word, right? Uh, yada, 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 and they are looking for people. Oh, open positions. If you guys want to work at the Black Forest Labs, they got eight job openings. Business of Business development, chief of staff, general counsel, technical staff, a lot of technical staff here. Well, check that out. So that is um, probably all we're going to see from the Flux 1.1 Pro announcement. Is there anything else here? See what's new, get Flux, get creative. This is from the main page. So these images are probably older, right? I saw a version of this one on Reddit. Now you can't, so there's... Nothing that says which version these were from. Oh, here we go. All samples were made with Flux 1.1 Pro. Then we can actually look at them a little more in detail. So this one's pretty cute. You got this, um, oh, what do you call it? We have this, oh, I, I forget the word. We have this specific focus where um, it looks like it's tiny. Well, it actually is tiny, but um, you can do that like on real cities and make them look like model cities. It's, it's pretty cool. A fish here. It's a lot of the, one of the complaints about flux in general is all the 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 blur and the depth of focus going on. So it's been kind of hard to prompt that away, and people have been trying to create like Loras specifically for that use case. Here's one where that isn't the case. However, 
everything oh this is a terrible image the detail is just not here why would they put this up a lot of good close-ups but um i mean you could i mean you could fix an image like this right if you run it first like through an upscaler like uh, an image to image pass and then you do some in painting like add an e a, a detailer for the faces just having the faces shown right that's such a simple fix obviously they can't do that for their showcase but just from a creator standpoint you would probably want to do that right but all of the close-ups and stuff like that that looks uh, looks really good here's some kind of western style anime i would say i don't know not sure here's more of the traditional style one two three four one two three four oh that's a one finger too many i didn't notice like sometimes you get an extra finger with flux most of the time it works out well you get the correct amount of fingers but uh, still getting a few extra fingers here and there uh i'm not gonna start counting the the spider legs here mm, but it's a it's a cute picture spider in a hat animals and hats just funny in general this is kind of cool too this one i like so you have some sort of a bedroom that kind of weaves into this portal out into the woods yeah pretty cool i mean if you start dissecting the images you can start to see many of the, the flaws i would probably upscale this before i put them up um but you know it's getting you, you can get like a sense of composition right like with this image like it looks hey this looks like a cool composition um but if you start digging into the details it's semi there semi not there i mean that the the people are actually together pretty well so you have like the, this this couple here they actually look like two people and with two legs and two arms and stuff like that uh, so that's a huge improvement but um, some of the close-up stuff like this person here should have some more detail um it looks like an impressionist painting a little bit but uh, we're, we're nitpicking now we're nitpicking i know this can do better this is cool this looks like one of the old um old style cameras together with uh oh what do you call the the circus wheel kind of projector thing oh i don't remember the names for that together with a polaroid camera oh this is a messy room let's look at some of the detail here so even though it's a little uh Laura's back here we can actually see it does look like they're separate items so that's cool so if we were to upscale this either through a regular upscale or a tiling upscale you could probably start differentiating the items and giving us them in better quality so in it, it, what I'm saying is it would look like specific items and not just a mess that looks like items and that's a it's a big difference. We got some clouds and smoke here. Pretty cool. What is this? Uh, what do you call it? The lynx? Oh, I don't remember. And a whale. So this is more of a painting, actually. So this is... Is this Impressionism? I don't know. We get this... Um, I think it is because of the little brush strokes like this. So this reminds me of... Oh, what's that book? Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, right? Overall, I would say like good images. I mean, obviously, they are straight out of the box. Ooh, I just love these kinds of environment paints. This looks like uh, one of those speed paints where everything's look, uh, you, you get like the sense of a lot of detail, but it's, you know, sketched or, or painted quickly. Well, you know, it's not, it's not painted quickly, uh, but in comparison to doing a image like this with a lot of detail, it's, um, that's a little frogs here in the end. No hats on the frogs though. Uh, we offer flux in four distinct variants. So they're actually gonna, still going to keep the Flux 1 Pro. Uh, not sure why, since the Flux 1 1 Pro will be faster and cheaper, right? Oh, we don't have the, the data um, anymore. Anyway, uh, Flux Dev, which we all lo love, and Flux Schnell, still there. So will we get a 1 1 Dev or a 1 1 Schnell? I don't know. We'll see. Let's keep our eyes open. Thanks for watching. See ya.